Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are going to build a new mech today. You guys decided, a bunch of you, the majority of you, wanted to see the urban mech in action over the assassin, and you are actually right. Because I was um, taking a look at the armor values. The assassin, when we max it out in terms of armor, quickly click the repair all and max armor, you can see we have 48 armor points on the center and we have 40 armor points on the side torso. Now, if we go back to Battle Max, I'm gonna skip all of this here, and go to the Urban Mech, um, you can see, repair all, max armor, and I can actually drop these real quick. I mean, the numbers are already there, right? Max armor, bam. We have 60 armor compared to 48 in the center torso, and we have 42 on the side torsos compared to 40. So this thing is just sturdier. I mean, we are not even talking about legs and, and arms here. This is just crazy. So a 30 toner is technically better than a 40 toner right now when it comes to when it comes to armor value. And I think we can make something happen, like two medium pulse lasers, four machine guns, something like that. I would say we make it a skirmisher right now. Don't really want to play towards the auto cannon shenanigans because we cannot afford an XL engine. And in order to run an auto cannon, we need weight reduction. And right now we cannot do it. So. I'm gonna not build it here. Oh, by the way, this thing is still in re disrepair, right? Ay, 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 ay. Okay. I was thinking that we could go to an industrial up and start building by snatching the engine from the locos and putting it in here. But that's 77 days. We should get that started and then get money and then come back to build. I think this is the order of operation here. Okay. So I'm not going to do it in a conflict zone because it'll take too much money away. This, however, takes 200,000 minimum because we got to go there. We got to start the repair and then we're going to scoot to another planet. Probably going to play the rate, the high um, high value contract here. Um, is that worth it? We're going to quickly take a look. Uh, and it's pretty cool, by the way, that this actually matters. Uh, start the work. Extra payout three or extra cost 300,000 in another 38 days. I don't want to spend the time. Yeah, it's worth going to the industrial hub since I also want to repair the other guys as well. And having a big markup on the cost on everything is probably not good. The other question that stands is do we keep the assassin or do we skip that thing? Do we just completely drop it using our urban mech and all of the other guys here? The assassin would instantly give us the money that we probably need to get things going, right? So repair that. Oh boy, it's 866,000 as well. And I certainly don't need this and that. And want to drop the engine. Oh, this is such a high cost. That's a million sea bills. We can barely afford it. Which probably means I have to drop the assassin. But I don't want to. Assassin is a good mech, but it takes a lot to invest. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, but I think I gotta do it. Oh, don't look, guys. Yeah, we need the money. Oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. We're gonna try to get one that is in a better shape, all right? Uh, so, 150,000. See, we need the money to get to the next conflict zone. <laughs> Oh boy, the early game. But hey, we have an urban mech on the way. So now we need money to get an engine. And I think we could be, should be good. Alright. Errant signal. There's an illegal settlers on the planet. The first step in serving the Chancellor's justice is to destroy their means of communication. I'll do it. Let me get... Ooh, that's a lot of negotiation. I mean, playing for House Liabo is finally paying off. I even have an airstrike. Which I will totally forget all the time. Now we go with a nice combo of money and salvage. Should be good. And this is gonna be our alpha squad. Oh, I should have taken the pilots on the planet that we were on. But anyway. Here we go. Once more with the fire starter. I hope that we can soon be in the cockpit of an urban mech. So yeah, we're gonna spend our time here playing some missions, gathering some money, and then we go back to the industrial hub, acquiring an engine getting some weapon systems for uh, Irby and uh, hopefully having a good time. Cool thing about the urban mech is that it's also jump capable. I like that a lot on a, on a mech that is uh, kind of a skirmisher, trying to get into a good position behind the enemies, maybe even jumping over them. That's, uh, that's fantastic. 
So let's see. All right. All Seems right. Seems like the squatters are living on this planet illegally. We've received orders to disable their communications mm -hmm. by destroying their radio towers. The radio the towers. And dangerous. That's nasty. We're gonna cut them off of their safety. entertainment. Oh no. So we got the machine guns, a weird laser flamer combo. I think I need more flamers actually instead of the small lasers. Or maybe go all small lasers. Kind of try to deal more. A little bit more focus damage. I don't know. Wait, these things are destructible, right? I wanna check this. I need to know, this is an experiment. Yep, they totally are. Takes a while, but you can destroy them. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, one of you guys Target said destroyed. I should uh, disable one of the mods which messes with the lighting because Fawn Biomes also has something like that and everything is a little off because of it. Um, thank you for the info. But honestly, I kind of like what it looks like right now. I, I don't know what you're saying. I mean, I can try probably in the next episode if I remember. Um, but I, I hear you. I read the comments and stuff. Okay, so we get that going for us. I'm gonna ignore the turrets. We don't have to take them. With you. Come on, guys. Let's go. Enemy destroyed. Oh, show off. You really wanted to destroy that thing, huh? Alrighty. Forming on the commander. Yeah, form on me, boys. I'm actually gonna wait until they have arrived. Hello, Locust. Fine. By the way, I'm very happy that we oh, made quick work with the assassin there. That was fantastic. That's a kill. That's another guy. We still have the helicopter behind us, right? Somebody has to take him. I'm not really the guy to do that. Staying on the tanks. But maybe I am because I have arm mounted weapons. Oh, that's convenient. Thank you. Who's that? Go away. All right, so here comes the helicopter once more. Oh, nice hit. That was the Locust, by the way. So, oh, and people were saying that I should uh, change uh, my sound mods. Or my sound with mods. So, if you have any suggestion, let me know. If you have any suggestions for mods I should use, give me info. I'll check it out, and then I decide if I want it or not. Stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Stay on the Irby. So this would be the build I'm kind of looking for, what he's running there. Okay. Okay, we have some turrets. Everything's burning. I'm gonna cool down a bit. Taking this, and then we go for Harassa. Alright, okay, I think we've triggered everything at once. That's not too good. Um, yeah, I need to cool before I can take another engagement. Ooh, it's a hole in the Udo Gauss rifle. Uh, guys, come here. C come here. We're gonna avoid that guy until I'm cold enough to engage that guy, alright? And then we go in with full force. Oh boy. Gotta dodge that. By the way, very happy to see we got a large laser and an auto cannon burst fire level 2. Auto cannon 10. Mmm. Is that something for Irby? Moving into formation. Only if we get an XL engine upgrade. Okay, here comes the Hollander. Ow! Yeah, I eat that. Let's go for him. Uh, actually, I think we should go for legs. Me and this guy runs a Gauss rifle. Maybe we can pick a Gauss rifle here. Destroy yeah, I don't know what's gonna be left over, Fire. but I'm hoping. Cool. So, breach the walls. Get in here, kill the tank. These raid missions are relatively easy. Hello. Uh, all the flames. And this is also one of the reasons why I don't want to use the flamers anymore. It just obstructs vision so much. It's just so messy. The, the punching my face into the enemy with all of my weapons at close range is... Uh, it's an approach you can do. But it's such a messy one. I think lasers would be better. For more visibility. Auto cannon? Who's shooting auto cannons? You. A warrior. That's a true warrior with an auto cannon. Uh, we can take him, right? 
You can take him, guys. I believe in you. I'm gonna take the objective. Target is down. All right. Target destroyed. So far, so good. Evac Enemy is ship. right up the hill. Yeah, and Rihanna is saying it again. Enemy ship, and it's an actual dropship this time. Okay, Rihanna, you cannot Shot bonk this thing, right? Um, do we want to fight this? Not really, but maybe there's good stuff in there. Let's see. On the fire starter. Easy, easy target. Go for legs. One leg down, second leg. Down goes the fire. It's a jumping flea? Since when do. What? Hey, goodbye. Say goodbye Okay. Take these, very important. Medium pulse laser on those. I'm tempted to take them. Okay. So, big jump. Now evac. What else is there? All the cannon too, and SRMs. These VTOLs, they are so dangerous for our light max. It's so crazy, guys. Okay, good mission. Ah, I hate the jump behavior here. It's really bad. Sometimes when you get on an obstacle, your forward movement is getting translated to vertical movement, and then you have this weird gliding momentum. Just like that. See that? I'm jumping way higher than I should. Alright. We did it! And we even take some very nice goodies with us. With our fire starter, not in a good spot anymore, though. Cool. The other guys are probably still fine. They were still in the greens on their, on their health bar. But let's take a look at, you know, the damage assessment here. We didn't lose anything. No component was destroyed. No item was critical, I feel. I think we kept everything. But again, I'm very happy to see the burst fire auto cannon. These are also worth a bit. We can think about selling those. So this is the 35-ton Hollander. I started picking parts for the 45-tonner, and I will probably keep picking those. Assassin, again, not a bad one. Has a good value ratio from share cost to... Um, mech value or part value. Mm, the flea as well. The flea is fantastic, by the way. It's almost a, a 2.5 ratio here. Like one pick for 250,000. No Gauss rifle on the loot table. You know what? I'll pick the flea parts just to sell them. It's fine. Maybe we can actually snatch the engine core out of this. That would be great. So let's keep picking them. Question is, do we take another Irby? Uh, it's not that good, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna start picking Assassins again. I think this is just fine. You know, we have 12 picks. It just fits. Let's do it. Cool. And we have a million C bills. Aaron Signal Part 2. Let's go. There is a contract here. It's an exploration contract. 14 days for the fire starter. Do we want to play this? I would say, yeah. Difficulty 10 is doable. Pretty big map. Uh, oh, we still have negotiation points, but we don't have the picks here. Ah, that's awkward. That is so awkward. But we get a lot of payout here. All right, I'll do it. So, 14 days. Let's go. See what we can do. I think we are in a comfortable state, almost able to afford the engine. The problem is we also need to put weapon systems in the mech, in our urban mech. We need to find those. And again, I, th I think medium pulse lasers would be fantastic. Uh, and then maybe machine guns, a decent rated engine, something about 130, 150-ish. So we, we run, I don't know, about 100 kph. Should be good enough for an urban mech. Just walk with the pack, currently we have that kind of speed on everybody. Don't need to go super fast. Alright. Salvage Ops lead reporting. We have completed preliminary recon. So, I'm gonna take my fire starter. The locals here won't and I'm gonna tell the rest of the team to just anyway. stay near the dropship. There is a Wolverine. So no, a Whitworth. Alright, alright, alright. We need to divert him from our dropship. Rihanna is already shooting, so that's cool. Share target identified. Come on, guys. Okay. 
All right, I'll take it. So, you're gonna stay here, guys. I'm gonna go to Alpha Gamma Beta. Right That's my point. order of operation here. I hope that we find something good. Make it count. And I like that we have a Whitworth already Holding on the battlefield. On the loot table, possibly, as well. It's not the worst mech in the world. The location, it's not exciting. But they are decent. You know, it's not, not bad. Not bad. In our current scenario. Oh, and I should probably go up here. A hop and a jump. And a skip. And we are up here. Good. So, climbing the mountain like a boss. Uh, can we get up there? Jump jet fuel. Oh, totally. Oh, jump jet fuel. Totally. Jump jet Another medium is a hunchback. Okay. Oh, and a scorpion on the perimeter. New target, urban map. No. No. Oh, bad. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna stay on Hunchbot. Stay in motion, stay in motion, stay in motion. Okay. Uh, actually, he jumped? Man, all of these fancy new mechs. Which are able to do whatever they want. Maybe I just take this base and go home. Hunchy is not going down. Not quickly. Not quickly enough. Get wrecked. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. I'm behind you. And I don't see anything. It's so crazy. Okay, Kirby next. Take the turret real quick because four small lasers matter in this fight. Oh. Keep critical. So just machine guns. Cool the flamer and the lasers a bit. That's a scorpion. want to take that. The bystanders. The not so innocent bystanders, they need to be taken out. So into the base. Here's Irby. I mean a rifle build on an urban mech? Totally works, right? Okay. In again. We're getting peppered by these uh, small lasers from the outskirts. Not dealing the most damage in the world, but a little bit. They're helping. Okay, stay in motion because the fa faster you move, the more basically evasion you get. Jumping also helps. What a fight. Alright, we made it. Maybe I should have taken this out beforehand. It's additional two small lasers. And another two. Alright, so first base done. We certainly want to investigate here. We're going to get the, the loot on top of the scan. Right there. So, tier 3 weapons on Nav Point Alpha. Uh, J. Edgar. Oh, and the carrier. Yeah, they're sending in reinforcements. We want the carrier first. It's more dangerous. They have another carrier in the back. And they sent in skirmishers. Uh, <laughs> that's 40 LRMs. Underrun, underrun, underrun. Okay, that guy is down. I really want to take a peek at another base. Should probably take the Scorpion in the back. Not the J. Edgar. Hey, Scorp. What's up, man? We lost an arm. Significant loss of firepower. Um, some beetles, some other things coming my way. Uh, ah, I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Let's go. I'm gonna ignore those tanks, all right? We're gonna just get out of the way and go over to Gamma. I don't know. If there's a thing that I can find, I'll probably try to fight it. If not, I'm going to instantly run away. Let's get an overview. This hunchback actually took way too long to kill. And then the urban mech as well. These are sturdy little buggers. And I cannot wait to have it on my side. Walk on up to oh, the treasure that's a thing I'll take, 100%. Free loot is free. Could be that there are only tanks and turrets in this base. I don't know. Excellent find, Commander. Gotta figure it out. Recovery now. Target destroyed. Hello? Is there anybody home? By the way, we found an SRM2. We cannot scan yet, so something is in here. There's a turret that might be. 
the defender that I have to destroy. Still no scan. There's another turret right here. Is the greed gonna pay off? We are scanning. All right, guys, we are scanning. We have something cooking here. Let's go. Ugh, fire, the smoke, and everything. 93, 95, 99, 100. We found a variety of ammunition on Nav Point Gamma. Uh, yeah, I have to take him. Otherwise, he's gonna be in my bag and shoot me with this auto cannon 5. That thing has range. Oh. It wrecked. We're not looking good. Pretty red on the center torso, on the legs. Lost an arm. The other arm is also pretty damaged already. But, hey, we gotta keep going. We might find something like a million sea bills again, like in the last exploration mission that we tried. So I think it is worth the risk. But I think we have to be careful. We have to scout the area before deciding if you want to go in or not. Throw it again. It's just lots Target of attrition destroyed. here. It's death by a thousand cuts. Already worth it. it Already worth it. Let's take it. LRM-10, tier 2, right arm or left arm about to pop. Oh, I'm losing firepower Target left and destroyed. right here. I want to know. Yeah, I'm out of here. I am out. Let's go home. Okay, J. Edgar's coming in, harassing us all the time here. Target yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna evac now. I hope that my fire starter is able to not get into trouble while I'm going into the dropship. And it certainly looks like it. Hey, totally worth it. I think we can easily take two, maybe even three bases with our setup that we have right now. I think it'll change as soon as we have a bit better defenses. And maybe I should have taken a battle buddy with me. But it would be, it would have been a bit of a pain in the butt to organize all of that. So, that's what we take. Hmm, very little seabill payout. A medium pulse tier 3. Hell yeah. SRM2, tier 1, LRM10, tier 2. Bit of ammo. Ultra ammo, chem laser ammo, SRM ammo. Yeah, the payout is garbage. But hey, I think it was worth it. Speaking of worth, Whitworth is, again, it's not bad. This guy potentially comes with an XL engine as well. And then there's Hunchback. And then there is Hunchback. It's a fantastic media mech. We'll do it like this. Two Whitworth parts, two Hunchback parts. It's probably worth a bit more. But although, again, the engine is, is freaking good. If we can get our hands on that, it will be fan-freaking-tastic. Would be a big power spike. So we technically lost money to get all of these goodies. Um, was it worth it? I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. Lost some flamers. I mean, I said earlier, I want to do some laser action anyway. Um, I'm going to quickly put two medium lasers in the mech so we have something that we can shoot. I would love to drop the flamer, but it takes more time, so I'm not gonna do it. Oof, 300,000. Ugh. Ouch. Uh, but anyway, so this is the next part of the... Oh, it's a war zone of the, of the high tier contract. It's doable. That's a battlefield. We can play a battlefield and a raid. Um, sure, we go to Borden. Let's do that. Still looking for more money. Looking for a little bit of salvage, but money is my my biggest concern. All right. So tier seven should be doable. Again, four house Liao. Get all of these negotiation points. <laughs> okay, I guess it's damage coverage. Oh no, worth it. Probably not. But hey, let's do it anyway. It's something that we can play. 
uh, while we are waiting for the refit of the Urban Mag. 80 days is quite a long time, and I could spend the time doing nothing, but we need to keep our econ up, right? The upkeep wants to be paid. So, and by the way, um, if you hear some random pings in the background, that's my, my phone, uh, which is loud right now, because I am expecting an extremely important call. So therefore, I have it on loud right now. I, I hope that you don't hear it. It's just, just a message from my wife that I got. Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this right. area and need us to screen their retreat. Yeah. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screen. Ready to fire. And hold the enemy oh wait, these guys are in actual good shape. Possible. We have an opportunity. We got two vindicators. I love to see it. Can hold the enemy's back. So we get here, 200 meters to already trigger that, and now we go and help the Vindies. Sorry, friends. I got jets. You don't. Target Panther. Panther. Beautiful light mech. I love Panthers. Target acquired. I like Wolfhounds even more. Uh, should we go for night vision? Yeah. Hostile back we should. Ahead. Oh, wait. I got medium lasers now. How do I aura these? Probably on the six. So I can shoot them. Independently. Hi. Hi, friend. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. I like the laser beam. Ah, so, the funny thing is here, that we only have to destroy six enemies. Alright, that should be very doable. And then we can decide if we want to stay longer or if we should go home. And we have a lot of damage coverage negotiated. But not a lot of salvage anyway. Oh boy. That's a carrier. Is that SRM-80? 60. Incredible. Don't go for me. Got him. Important. Feels a little bit too easy in my book, to be honest. But let's see. Maybe the enemies are bringing a bit more than that. Small map as well. I kind of feel that the Vindicators can do it alone. Are you looking at something already? Yeah, there seems to be something. Another Light Mag. Another Panther. Are we playing against Kurita here? No. I think it's in Independence, right? Let's see. Another SRM carrier. Oh, getting slowed down like that sucks. Hey, Panther. I'm in your back. Yeah, just like that. Okay, back it up. Maybe we take the carrier real quick. Good. And now we do this. And now we cool. What's that? Sensor sweep detected. Okay. Uh, there's a medium X somewhere. I think he was like here. Yeah, there he is. A blackjack. Honestly, I also like Blackjacks. Blackjacks are fantastic early mechs. The most okayish mech in the Inner Sphere. Oh my god. We're getting all the goodies here, but we are not able to really pick that many. Double heavy rifle. I mean, it packs a punch. As you can see on my right arm. Did he shut down? After the Alpha Strike? I think he did. Couldn't keep the heat. Uh huh. All right. More enemies, please. Target acquired. So we got a J Edgar and another J Edgar, which will come towards us relatively quickly. These are very fast hover tanks, so I have no doubt that we will make quick work with them. And I think we got what we came for. We just go and try to find another mission after that, right? I do hope, by the way, that the sound balance is good. I was fiddling around with it a little bit. And, um... Think, oh. I think I overdid it a bit. Um, I tried to tune it back a little bit, but let me know down below in the comments if the, the sound is good for you. Yeah. Got that. And where's the last guy? Here, behind the hill? I think he was here-ish. Oh, why? What? Whoa. Did we lose our Vindicator friend? Yeah, one of them is gone. 
Oh my god! Target. I thought they would just survive all of this. So hot. So damn hot. Also, I think I spotted something here, right? Yeah. There's extra loot. Alright. Okay, we picked up Flamer. Give me a second. Did we not pick the other thing? Sensor sweep detected. Oh, that's lava. That's why I'm so hot. I thought I picked up two things. Maybe? Maybe one of them was really just ammunition and nothing else. Jenner. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting mech to get. Okay. Javelin? I don't think so. I think... Actually, it's giving us money if we take these down, right? Go for it. No. Why not? Let's do it. Easy. Easy. And that's about 50,000 sea bills. We were at 49,000, I believe, before. And now we are at 76. So it's about 35. 36. 37. Good enough. Totally worth the little engagement. But we are going home now. New target fire starter. We're going home. Okay. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. So, another mission well done. Man, I really wanted to build Irby today. Do we get it done? We're currently busy acquiring money and salvage here. Uh I think in order to spend more time, we gotta scoot around from planet to planet. But just moving is so inefficient. We should really play the missions that we are that we have um, online right now. Okay, all of these things are bad, so I'm gonna pick some items. We have nine picks. That's not a lot. Uh, the value of these things, I don't know. The max are not the things that I really want to run. If anything, maybe the Blackjack, it's a 45 donor. And then we're gonna pick the three LRMs, which are at the very least worth one to one, one to 100,000. And I'm gonna sell them. Okay, good. So we are at 1.8 million sea bills, not really making the most progress, but we are keeping our boat afloat. That's the important thing. Urban Mech is ready to go. Urban Mech is ready to go. There's another thing here. It's a raid. Small map, though. You know what? We play the raid. I'll take the salvage. Eh, let's take a split here. Because we need to be able to afford an engine. All right. So, four days. Oh, my God. On the mission to build an urban mech. It's so weird. So damn weird. And I think, you know what? Even if we can drop the locust then, I think... I want to keep this little bugger as a spare mech to have. And honestly, maybe we should drop the cicada for the moment because the damage output of the cicada, of the machine gun bug, is really bad. Okay. Attention. For battle so, playing a raid. We're gonna stick with the destroy a bunch of enemies, but not go super crazy on the destruction path because we don't have the maximum amount of salvage. If we can get our objective done in scoot, I'd be fine. All systems nominal. We've been contracted to destroy a number of tactical objectives in enemy territory. That's a bunch of them. We're only being paid for the elimination of the targets. So yeah, try yeah, not to yeah, stick around yeah, and yeah, tangle yeah. with the defenders for too long. Rihanna has it right. The end of it from we shouldn't stay for too long, but we should be able to get things done. This crapyard is so beautiful. That's a pu beautiful biome here. It feels very Warhammer 40k orky. Oh. 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 Look, Mom, I'm flying. <laughs> oh, boy. Right in the middle of an emplacement of turrets. Yeah, I'm out of here. I don't care about these. I don't care about them. There is a mech, though. Okay. What's the mech? 
Urban mech, right? It's always Urby and we want to take him down because that thing in our bags would be pretty bad for us. Okay, first Lieutenant Urban mech. Ow. See, that's why I have problems in form of a little trash can. Okay, try to get behind them. We are my friends. That's too much. Oh, I forgot. I got lasers now. They are significantly hotter. Yeah, and we should do this. Ah, stay in motion. Guys, can you take Irby finally? I'm gonna try to take the helicopters here. I am so hot. Helicopter down. Let's take the damaged one. Okay. Irby is still alive. Oh boy, we put ourselves in a pickle here. Don't hit me. I'm behind you. And then we're gonna unload. Good. Irby down. Uh, helicopter. Okay. I think we got all of them. Wow, no, there's one more. Uh, we gotta take the small lasers down. Okay. And then the helicopter, which is still alive. Holy macaroni! Took a good chunk of damage here. Our javelin as well. Probably got hit by Irby a bunch of times. Yeah, center toss, it doesn't look great. Alright. Alrighty then. I think we triggered two bases at once, right? That's what happened here. Engaging commander's target. You can take a turret. I'll take the objective. Thank you. Kill confirmed. I want to make sure that I'm using my very heat-neutral weapons in order to take the things down. There was a tank here. There it is. Scorpion. Another acquisition. I'll take it. Totally worth going Alpha Strike here. Stay in one target. Makes more sense. Light mech. Another Irby. Alright, we're gonna send in the crew. I'll take care of the helicopter. She's oh god! Don't like it. Lance made four, center towards a breach. That's the thing I don't like to hear. Yeah, I, I hear you, I hear you, buddy. They have a wasp as well. I'm gonna help you. But that's all I can do right now. Maybe we just go? I don't know. Okay. I have the attention of an urban mech. Pew, 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 Come on! Kirby! Get wrecked! Ah! So, Wasp is next. Oh my god. That's so much. This is gonna not be worth it. But hey, what can you do? Eh. Almost got him. Almost got him. We have to take him down. Wrong. Which I should use those those punches more often, honestly. And my weapon groups are currently all over the place, so I, I need to do that. I need to fix that. Okay, let's go in here. Run through the buildings. Man, one shot in my bag and I'm toast. Good work, Commander. That's one less target. <sighs> Commander, enemy dropship coming in. Enemy dropship? What? Underneath. Not now. No. It's bad. I cannot fit through here. All right. Let's go around the right side. So what's my weapon group like right now? We lost a lot of weapons already. Attacking shared target. Kind of hope that that's the infamous dropship that Rihanna is talking about. Target destroyed. Okay. So, not looking great. But I think we can still do it. Let's do it. What do we have left? A flamer? Two small lasers and two machine guns? 
Yeah, I'll switch over to Mr. Flea. Still can take some damage. I hope that we survive this, though. So, medium lasers on the right arm, so we're gonna make it on the right mouse button. And then this, and then this, I believe. Walk on up to the treasure mm, to pick it up. I'm gonna ignore Abby. Can I? Where are my friends? Find, Where are they? Now. But I really stay on center torso. Aim carefully. In the butt. In the butt, in the butt, in the butt. Alright. That was quite quick. Fire starter is alright. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta down an Irby to get an Irby. And yes, I have no jump jets anymore. Kind of a thing I liked. My jetties. Invalid target. Yeah, I'm gonna take the carrier and then we go for the objectives and then we scoot. We just gonna go. Bad shot. Target is down. Anyway. Target acquired. One down, target one down. All target buildings have been destroyed, Where's Rihanna? Commander. Good job. 900 meters. Getting Let's run. I don't care Head about leg damage. I'm just gonna go now. Ow. Ugh. Wasn't surprisingly soft landing. Interesting. So I try to not engage that guy. I think I should engage that guy. So that I can divert him from my friends. Hold your fire, guys. Hold your fire. Actually. Stuck. Stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. We should probably try to take that guy. Yeah. Totally Target viable. Acquired. Good. Target so, now we run. No, I can't. The helicopters will be in our bags. And they will shred our friends. When the locust is your strongest mech. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I really like the Locust setup here. The small laser barrage. I would love to have it all small lasers, let's be clear. But in terms of heat, we can sustain ourselves. So a combo of smalls and mediums is actually good. We can actually shoot into the sky with a bit more range. Holy macaroni! What a thrilling run. Alright. But that was the last mission on this planet. Was it worth it? I am not sure. I mean, we got an ER large laser short burst out of that, and a million C bills, and an auto cannon five. Totally worth it. And then there's also that. It might be just more Irby parts, because items are garbage. How do we play this? In order to start a build, we need more P60 parts. It's a primitive one, though. But it has four energy hard points. That makes it kind of viable. So we have one part already. If we pick three more, we have four, which enables us to start a build. And then a fifth here in form of the P63. It's also primitive. How are you able to run double PPC on this? It's crazy. I mean, I guess it works. Yeah, it's fine. And then I'll also pick a wasp. Huh. Actually, no. I'm gonna take an auto cannon 2 tier 1 instead. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, Irby is ready. That means we will not play attack and defend, even if we wanted to. I don't think we're gonna survive that. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. So, we go back to an industrial hub and we are going to take a look at our build options. Hell yeah. We should be able to have enough money to get things done. So, 2.4 mil. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. <sighs> okay, let's start with the Alpha Squad. Gotta click that Repair All button and drop one of these lasers, replace it with a... with another small... Flamer needs to go. I don't believe in it anymore. I'll drop some jets. 
I think two is enough for baseline mobility. And I definitely need more heat sinks. Okay. Seems legit. Let's take it. 38 days. Good enough. Now, the javelin. I don't think he lost anything because there's nothing in that arm. I can just click the repair all button and uh, also have a good time. The other guys were fine, so repair all. And now we're going to take a look at Irby. Okay. How do we want to play that? First of all, we max out the armor. That's always the case. I feel like I can go a little low on leg armor. Maybe... 21 plus 40. Still good. I mean, we have the bonus armor. Let's go. Then, I'll, I'll drop the ammo. I'll drop a small laser. Let's sketch out a build. What if we put machine guns on the mech? And then use the two medium pulse lasers that we've gotten. Um, we have a lot of single heat sinks. We need ammo. Ton of ammo is good. All right. Huh. So I I wonder, do I have that correctly in my mind that the the first heat sinks that are negative are for free? That means we technically have one and a half tons only? Can't be right. Can't be right. So let's see, engine core, 125, it's four tons. It has a negative of... Actually, wait. That's our tonnage, right? Seven and a half. Eight and a half. So I think I can take 180. And then we need three external heat sinks. Let's take the 150 just to make sure. How fast are we with this? 81 kph. Ooh. God, we need that XL upgrade, man. We definitely need it. Worst case scenario is we're gonna drop the pulses down to regular medium lasers and it should still fit. Kablam! So, we need three external heat sinks. Will they weigh? They do. Ah, they do. All right, then. So, what about half a ton of machine gun ammo? I feel like we are lacking sustain, then. Maybe not. I can drop the jump to ease. One of them. Yeah, make the mech viable. I want to run about 100 kph. That's what I said earlier. We have no gyro, no engine, no structure, no nothing upgrades, but we have a million C bills. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what do fire control systems cost? Nah. It's nothing good here. Oh yeah, and by the way, you guys said we are so early in the in the timeline that Pharaoh and Endo and that just doesn't exist. So we have to go with what we find here for the moment. Heat bank pirate. Heat capacity 15, 2 tons, heat efficiency 0.1. You can call that a heatsink. Pretty good. Corrosive heatsinks have better heat efficiency, but they explode. And with the little armor that we have right now, we cannot afford getting exploded. I, re I really feel like this is fine. This is good enough for the moment. Hold up. We have an extra heatsink here. The mech is still viable because we need extra three. I didn't see the one in the base. That means we can actually keep some jump jets around. And I feel like that's a good idea. Damn. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll play it like that. And just to make it a bit more even, we put him in the legs. There we go. And that's about it. That's the build for our Irby. I mean, is it good? I think it's decent for a, a standard engine build, absolutely, and we can afford it. Cool. So we obviously want to paint our little Irby, make it beautiful as the other mechs in a nice black and white. Apply here. Very good. Go back. And this is all the glory of the urban mech now. I like it. Guys, we will be playing this bad boy in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.